Everybody, welcome to the channel where every day is range day. Today, I'm gonna to be taking you through a very quick and easy tutorial on how to make your own stand-up wooden targets. These are the kind of targets we've used ever since we started getting serious about shooting, and they're simple and easy to put together with only basic equipment. If you didn't see one of our latest videos where we took a trip down to the range, we saw that one of the trees surrounding the range had actually fallen onto two of our wooden target stands. No big deal, these things are cheap and easy to put together, and we needed two more for the range anyways, so let's go ahead and get into it. So for this, you're going to want to get all your wood together, and you can do this with 2x4s, but when I was at the lumber store, I saw that 2x3s were actually less expensive so i went ahead and went with that if you're making one stand you need three planks but if you're making two get five because you can cut it to where you can get two out of five two by three by eight you're going to need a pencil and a measuring tape to mark you need a saw and it can be as simple as a hand saw like it's shown here and then an electric drill always helps for the screws i went with some three inch deck screws so let's go ahead and get what kind of cuts you're going to need out of the way you are going to need two 24 inch planks two 18 and a half inch planks and two two and a half inch planks Finally, you're going to need two six foot planks. Go ahead and measure and mark. And remember, before you cut, measure twice. It's great for woodworking and it's also just good life advice. Measure twice and cut once. After you finish measuring, you're just gonna go ahead and cut the required wood. Again, you only need two, two 24 inch lengths, two 18 and a half inch lengths, two, two and a half inch lengths, and then the six foot lengths, which you can see there. Again, I was making two, so if you see double the amount of cuts, that's why. You can take five planks and then make everything you need for two target stands. After you get it cut, go ahead and lay it out. And this is the kind of pattern you're gonna see right here, this eye shape. After you make this eye shape with the 18 and a halfs in the middle, go ahead and take your two and a half inch sections and put it flush with the 24 inch lengths of the stand. The target uprights are going to be fitting into a little pocket that you're going to make here with the two and a half inch sections in between these 18 and a half inch sections. You're going to mark the widths of the uprights by using those two and a half inches. Wherever you mark it, you're going to want to move those two and a half links a little further out and don't ask me how i know but if you keep it exact it's just going to be too tight so after you get those two and a half inch sections exactly where they need to be secure those two and a half inches in there to the 18 and a half inch sides you can probably get away with one deck screw because this isn't structural but redundancy is always good after you get that middle section complete, you can go ahead and secure it to the 24 inch lengths just like this. And I took one of the uprights and used it as a little bit of a base to make sure it was somewhat symmetrical. After I stood it up, I went ahead and finished with the few remaining screws I needed to put in there. Set the base down and put these six foot uprights in there. And if it doesn't go in, you can always use a little bit of good old fashioned American persuasion with a little bit of scrap wood or a rubber mallet. After you get the six foot links in for the uprights, you can just go ahead and staple some scrap cardboard to the upright. And there you have it, some simple do-it-yourself wooden target stands. So there you have it folks, some quick and easy and cheap wooden target stands that you can assemble together in probably about 20 minutes if you really put your mind to it. If you're an experienced woodworker and you have a good workshop, you can easily put one of these together in less than that amount of time. These are the target stands that we use when we're doing our close range firearms training with either rifle or pistol so that you can shoot through a paper surface without worrying about ricochets 
enemies or shrapnel flying back at you. So we hope this was helpful and that you found some use out of this. If you like this video, please let us know by leaving a thumbs up below. And if you have any comments or questions, you can leave that down in the comment section below and we will do our best to get back to you. If you like this video and like some of the other videos on our channel and you'd like to keep up with us, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when we release new videos, you can hit that bell icon and toggle the notifications to let you know when we drop a new video. This has been Mac with Range Day, where every day is Range Day. Thank you for watching. Hey, that's $130. Like, I'm all for science and getting some metrics down, but. That's the Gucci one. Yeah, this is the, the pack club timer. Three. I don't know, I guess I had two before.